Hi everyone, uh, I'm Daphne and this is Paper Station and in this video I wanted to show you a swap uh, package that I uh, put, uh, put together for uh, Vivian from the Paper Letter blog. Uh, we agreed to do a swap uh, with papers and here you can see the various papers that I picked for her. She wanted uh, grid paper and vintage looking paper so I have, uh, this is from a Muji uh, letter set. I had uh, some papers from uh, notebook lined paper that kind of looks uh, vintagey. This is from a notepad, a grid uh, notepad that I have, and I like this really nice geometric design. And this is also a grid notepad, which is, has a bit of you know uneven lines, and it looked interesting. So Vivian uh, asked on Instagram that she'd like to receive uh, papers that looked vintage or had grid. Um, that look kind of interesting. So I looked through my paper pads and we talked and we decided to do a swap. So here I am putting the swap together. Uh, I put the papers uh, together, uh, wrapped them so that they, would be, they wouldn't get uh, creased. And I used a newspaper. You can see on the background, this is a Greek uh, newspaper. Uh, that I used. I, I like using uh, upcycling materials and using them for uh, wrapping. So this is um, me wrapping the papers in the newspaper and I'm going to use um, washi tape which you'll see in a moment. I have this, uh, it's a green grid uh, washi tape from MT from a set that I have. And uh, Vivian also introduced me to swap bots, uh, which I, I knew about, but I hadn't used before. And I'm really excited and I've gone and participated in various swaps since I signed up. And if any of you is on swap bot, please let me know. Uh, leave me a comment or send me a message. It would be really nice to maybe connect there as well. I've participated in uh, various swaps now, like uh, I did a tea swap uh, where we sent um, tea bags to each other and I also did one which was called Mail from Around the World where I sent uh, mail to two people and I'm, I'm going to receive uh, mail from two people and I don't know which countries from. Actually at the time I'm recording this voiceover I've received one and it was from Finland. It was really nice. You can see it in another video that I, I will have and once it's uploaded I will share the link in the description. I share what Vivian sent me. So now I've wrapped up uh, the papers and I'm uh, using a, a, a leaf from the grid paper pad which I will uh, attach to the uh, package with double-sided tape. I really like using double-sided tape. I've seen it, uh, I think I saw it from someone on YouTube and I got the idea and it's really useful uh, and a bit less messy than using glue stick. So I will add the paper, the paper pad, the, the sheet from the paper pad. <laughs> And on the other side. And here I'm using a marker. It's a Tombow dual brush pen. Uh, it's the bullet tip side to do a bit of lettering um, on the package to denote the papers, which was the main part of our swap. And now I'm using twine. 
uh, to wrap it up, I think I remember, and I'm actually going to, it's, it's uh, doubled up so that there's more of it, because I think that maybe she'll want to reuse it. I definitely like receiving, um, when I receive gifts and they're wrapped with twine or ribbon, I definitely keep, uh, keep them. I have a box where I have um, bits of ribbon and twine that I've received uh, from gifts or that I've saved from uh, packaging. Uh, so I'm not doing anything fancy with the twine because I think that she might want to reuse it. So that's the package done. Uh, no, actually, it's not done. I'm also adding a couple of uh, die cuts to decorate. This one says, oh joy, and it has a gold um, foiling on it. I don't know if you can see it very well. It's a uh, hexagon, pink hexagon, and that's a little pastel camera. Um, which I thought was would look nice on the package, and that is the main package done. And then I made a couple of envelopes. Uh, Vivian had mentioned on one of her videos that she really likes shaped paper clips, and I have several in my collection, so I thought I would pick out a few for her and send them to her. So there's a star-shaped one. These are triangular. Uh, shaped. I have a big big box of these. I received them in a swap. And I really like them, but I don't use them that much. So um, I like them, I collect them. This is a cat-shaped one. I really like these. These are from uh, Midori and they do uh, various animal shapes and they're really, really cute. This is an owl one. Um, I have a little tin of these and I got them um, in Germany on a trip and they're really cute. And these I also received in the swap. And they're, they have a hand gesture. So these are all on a bit of cardboard so that they would stay in place. And the envelope is handmade from uh, uh, patterned paper. And then I had, I picked out a few die cuts. This is another envelope which is also handmade um, from patterned paper. So I picked out a few die cuts from my collection that I thought that Vivian might like, and I'm using another uh, die cut that's gold foiled and says happy, a nice calligraphy, um, like brush calligraphy. And I used a bit of washi tape, can't really see it, but I used a bit of washi tape to stick it on the envelope. And my thinking was that she can use that also. Uh, so I'm, I'm closing the envelope, but she can also use this um, if she likes the die cuts. So now I'm decorating the envelope, uh, which I used to send the swap. This is an empty wide uh, washi tape. It has green stripes, green and white. And I'm using it on the front and the back. I really love using washi tape on envelopes. I think it's it's one of my favorite um, craft supplies and materials. I can never have enough washi tape. Um, and I really love looking through my collection and seeing what I can use, that what matches with what. And um, yeah, so that's washi tape done. And now I'm using uh, the same pattern paper that I used for the envelope, uh, for one of the envelopes. And I keep I have a folder where I keep scraps, and this is actually a part from that same um, uh, sheet of paper that I used to make the envelope. So I kept, I cut out the envelope, and I used, I kept the scraps in a folder because I really like this design and I didn't want to throw them away. So then I used the scraps on, you know, collages and envelopes and to decorate notebooks and what have you. So this is uh, the bit of polka dots colorful uh, paper that I used um, on this envelope. And um, then I'm using uh, one, uh, again, the grid, the uneven grid um, paper pad, which I'm going to use to write the address on the envelope. And I like combining different, uh, if I can, combining different sort of textures, um, like we have the stripes, we have the polka dots, we have the grid paper, and there's color, and there's craft 
uh, paper from the envelope. So I kind of really like the contrast between the different uh, materials. And I find, I, I really like the idea that, you know, every envelope that I will decorate will be different. Um, so yeah, I'm using double-sided tape again to stick the grid paper on top, and that's where I'm going to write my, uh, the, that's where I wrote the address. And now I have this bit, bit of washi tape, uh, which I'm trying to see where I want to stick it. And I went with the, um, finally chose to stick it on the top of the, the paper. I really like this. Is this is one of my favorite washi tapes? I really love the color and I really love the design. And finally, I'm going to use uh, my ink and a little stamp that I have with a an envelope with a little heart, which I really like using for Happy Mail. And I will stamp the little envelope on the bottom right corner of the paper. And the colour of the ink uh, matches the washi tape and the teal um, polka dots of the paper. So this is the front and now I'm going to similarly decorate the back. Uh, this is another scrap of that same patterned paper. Uh, these pattern papers are from Flying Tiger, by the way. They have these. I've I had them for a while now. They're not new, um, but they they come up with these paper pads, A4 sized, where they have various pattern papers. The paper's quite thin, but it's good for you know doing things like you know decorating and envelopes and things like that and i'm trying to see where i want to place this is going to be the return address the sender's address um and i went uh, i decided to stick it in the bottom of the envelope so i'm doing so with double-sided tape again and sticking it down. And using the same washi tape to kind of round everything up and sort of complete uh, the design. So this is the look that's done, um, the front and the back. Uh, what I did when I added the, the items, I also wrote uh, a little letter for Vivian.